A360 Electricians, welcome back. The man right here, all the jobs you see on the channel. This guy's in charge of all of them. So what's up, Rudy? What's up, guys? All right, so we're at a county building here in LA that we take care of. Got a bunch of gate motors here. First one right over here. Ended up having a bad uh, board. So uh, we troubleshot that and we're gonna replace it. All right, so we just replaced the board. This is the new board in here, you can see. Hopefully the light doesn't mess it up too much. It's a lot newer, it's obvious, than the old board there. We changed the board and we changed the uh, loop detector sensor that's here, right there where Rudy's about to walk. And that is because this gate was just too intermittent and we didn't want to take any chances with the customer. There you go. Always put your warning signs. Let's see if this is gonna auto close. I don't think I set it to that. Then over here, about five years ago, I don't know if you can see it. Let me get over there. About five years ago, we replaced the existing intercom with an Alika cellular provided intercom system. Where you can actually uh, dial up and call to enter the building. So unfortunately that's not working, but it seems to be a board issue. The problem is with, with the shutdown, with the pandemic, that company's not answering their phone or tech support or nothing. And I've got a customer that's got hundreds of cars. In fact, here we go. Look, there's our van, but look, cars keep coming in all the time. You can see them all lined up here and behind it, there's about parking space for another 400. And uh, they need that intercom to be working. So right now we can't get it working because we can't get a hold of the manufacturer. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into this gate motor here. We're going to go ahead and just put a LiftMaster receiver into the gate motor. We're going to tie it in right here to the top. And then temporarily, we're going to take a keypad from LiftMaster. And we are going to end up... See, there's another one. We're going to end up mounting that probably right here. Or I don't even know. I mean, I wouldn't mind mounting it there, but that thing's going to... We're going to try to fix that still. So maybe right down here or right here. I don't know where we're gonna mount it, somewhere here so that the, the tenants and the workers can just come here and instead of hitting this keypad, which right now, of course, it looks like it's working, but it's really intermittent, can still bypass it and then get into the unit. So a quick job that's a diversified job. Now we do everything in this building. Uh, we do the fire alarm system tests where we come in and we replace all the emergency ballasts and lighting. We do the parking lot lights when they go out. We do all their uh, LED retrofits. Uh, I mean, this is a great account. And then this is just additional work that we do. We are diversified. So what's the moral of this story? Diversify. You might have a building like this, but did you look around and say, well, you know what? Those poles are pretty high, right? The light poles are pretty high, but how hard would it be for you to rent a lift from Home Depot or wherever you need to and then service their lights? How hard would it be for you to learn gate motors and then service their gate motors, level up your business? A customer that might give you $20,000 a year could turn into $100,000 a year, all right? Hope you got something out of this video. Smash that like button, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.